Okay, today we are going to do muffler mod and carb retune on this 590 Echo Timberwolf. And this is Connor Saw. Say hello, Ray. What's going on? <laughs> okay, so first thing we're gonna do, I got ahead of myself here. Uh, pop this off like so. Slide this boot out. And I don't know, I'm gonna try to get those red carb limiter caps. Try and get them off with a screw so I don't have to pull the carb. So. I got her. Problem is though. Oh yeah, we'll be able to slip it right by the choke. Okay. So that's all I did, just shoved this in there. I would say this is probably like, I don't know, maybe like a one eighth screw, something like that. So you can see right in here. That's all, just makes a little shiny spot, but you still have your flat spot for the screwdriver adjuster. Pop this top cover plate off. These are T27 Torx. I think there's only two of them. Come on, you bugger. Uh. Oh. Okay, I'll get that after I get the cover off. Well, I think there's one on the inside. Never had one of these apart, so bear with me. Now, we had previously run this against the 261. That made a huge, huge shock because we thought we were going to actually beat it by a little bit but they're pretty even so it's going to be interesting to see after we get done with it what kind of uh numbers it puts out there's a little hole in there yep so there's that screw down in there i'm sure you could probably see it just three screws to get this top cover off and then the one that's going to fight with me terribly here. I'm going to go after that with a pick before I lose it. All right, you roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty much everything here is T27. And like I said, I never had one of these apart, so we're gonna make sure we get a little bit of a idea what's going on with the, um, the muffler, inside of the muffler, and you know, see what kind of size opening it has, if it has a baffle and all of that stuff, because we don't wanna make too big of a hole. I just pop that center holder out. So this is gonna have two screws in here and then there'll be two underneath. So I'll hold it on. Two underneath. Probably should have just popped your bar off quick. Okay, so something I just noticed on this, a uh, lot of debris, a lot. Like this, we didn't clean air filter. Like the air filter itself is clean. That's 
that's just bad bad news you can even see it in the black there in the background it's uh it's kind of getting in some debris and this was tight it was actually so tight i almost couldn't get it off see that all around the opening there it's no good no good we're definitely gonna put a little o-ring or something on that and fix that so what I do, have done on a lot of steel mufflers is I just put a small hole right in the corner. It just blows out. doesn't seem to you know affect your hands or anything negative. Actually, the 400s gets your hand a little hot. But that's kind of pointing too far up. So this is just like one, you know, basically a very, very slight self-center punch. But I like to do that on its rounded corner. So just take this and just... That even dented it nicely. So that'll give you a nice true start. Okay. So this saw uh, is gonna be basically stock other than this uh, muff mod and it's about 60 cc's, it's 59 cc's. So I'm going to go with a 7 16th or a half inch hole. It does have a pretty good size opening already, the stock deflector on the top. So you don't wanna to go too much, but it does help it to breathe a little bit. Let's see what we got here. That should be 3 8 yeah. Am I hitting that? No, not yet. Okay, that's seven sixteenths. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go half inch. We'll go half inch. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Got it right on the corner. Got to make sure you blow that out really good with the air. Also, after you're done. Um, so. This is like a one eighth bit step drill. This is a deburring tool. So I'm just gonna go in just for, you know, to clean it up. All right, so this, this O-ring said F13. I have no idea if that's like a universal thing, but that's the size. Um, it fits perfectly in there and it's nice and thin. And that's really going to help tighten up that seal. Let's see if it fits okay on the, on the saw. It seems like it's going on nice, nice and tight. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so we'll throw this back on and uh, put the muffler back together.
got the muffler mod done. And uh, I'll put these head to head on uh, against the 261 and, and we'll see what she does. This is only 50 cc's and it's it's i actually didn't really crank this up too much on the carb um so before it was it was neck it was neck and neck right here it was we were finishing side by side and after we did a muff mod and carb retune i mean you saw it's just it took my lunch um i mean look at that guys like that <laughs> that's how much more it got beat half so um yeah this this one too that was closer, but that could have just been the start. Th this one, yeah, so it's a half, a little three quarters. Um, that's that's how much of a difference the muffler mod makes on this Echo. And that's all it is right here is just this little, little, uh, little hole retune. What do you think? It runs a lot better now. It does. So honestly, my honest opinion about this saw right now is... $350 is amazing. It's way heavier than this, but this is 50 cc's. I climb with this one. This is an amazing ground saw. I'd climb with it though. And it'll pull two foot bar all day. I know it. That's just a 20. So it's the same. Now that's a full house chain and that's, that's uh, a full skip, but it wouldn't matter. Trust me. It wouldn't matter. That saw has got it all day. I love it. Want to go again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>